This agreement is in the best interest of moving this branch of government forward. After more than a month of turmoil at the top, Stephen Clay stepped down as City County Council President. His resignation came moments before what was shaping up to be a showdown in the effort to oust him. We were actually first to report this on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock today, and then we sent you a push alert on our WTHR app as soon as Clay officially made that official announcement. Now, tonight, Earl Mary Mills explains his sudden change of heart, who's taking over now after weeks of chaos on the council. Well, a lot of people came to the meeting tonight expecting fireworks, expecting a showdown between Stephen Clay and the council as he fought to remain president, but that's not what happened tonight. Madam Clerk, I deliver for your certification my official resignation as president of the City County Council. Minutes later, Clay left the meeting, paving the way for a fellow Democrat, Bob Ossoli. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Who Clay supported and won on a unanimous vote. It's within all of our abilities to work together, and I'm looking forward to doing that. It ended a chaotic six weeks where Clay was jeered for making Republicans committee chairs, sued for firing the council clerk and attorney, and ousted from the Democratic caucus, yet vowing to keep fighting. Why the change of heart? This uh, decision today mutually agreed upon is indeed the, in the best interest of moving this branch of government forward. Do you have any regrets? I have absolutely no regrets. <laughs> Former President Maggie Lewis, who lost to Clay, said, This has been an absolutely crazy six weeks for our city. It's been embarrassing for our city. And I'm just hoping, I'm optimistic that we'll be able to move forward. Republicans also relieved the saga was over. Um, this blip on the radar uh, is behind us now. You now we've got crime to fix, we've got potholes to fill, we've got roads to fix, and it's, it's, I'm glad we can finally move on. It's time. Again, a lot of unanswered questions. For one, will those fired staffers be rehired? And also, will Clay be invited back into the Democratic caucus? Questions that will no doubt be answered in the days ahead. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Well, we can answer a few for you right now. Clay is no longer president, but he's still on the council. And that lawsuit he faced, well, that's now a moot point. Both the fired attorney and the clerk have told us that they hope to get their jobs back.